The little girl was very excited about her first trip to Disney, but she could hardly imagine that the plane would be struck by lightning and almost crash if it weren't for their bravery and courage in saving the passengers. The end would be inevitable. And it was a sunny day full of joy, excited at the airport. Joyce and her little daughter, Kelly, five years old, were eager to board the flight that would take them to Orlando, where they would spend their vacation in Disney World. They were both dressed in colorful and comfortable clothes, ready for the adventure that awaited them. I'm so excited, Mom exclaimed the little girl her eyes shining with excitement. The mother smiled and responded, me too, my love. We're going to take lots of photos and have a lot of fun playing games while they walk through the airport lobby. Joyce held the hand of the little girl who was jumping with joy. They stopped at a souvenir store and bought some business stickers to stick on their suitcases. Entering the travel atmosphere at the airport, a group of musicians played lively songs and an excited Kelly began to dance, attracting the attention of other passengers who smiled and applauded the performance of the girl. Joyce was proudly recording the scene and sharing it with friends and family via cell phone. When it was time to check in, the little girl helped her mother put the suitcases on the conveyor belt and received a special sticker from the assistant. Look, mom, they gave me a Bon Voyage sticker, she said, showing it to Joyce. How cool, dear. Let's put it on your passport so it will be even prettier, she suggested and they both smiled after going through security. They found a small playground at the airport and they decided to take advantage of the time before boarding. Kelly played on the slide that they see saw and the house, making friends with other children who were also excited about their trips. When the flight was announced, the mother and daughter headed to the boarding gate. While waiting in line, Joyce showed the little girl the plane through the window and explained to her how it would fly high in the sky, crossing the clouds. It's as if we're flying like little birds, right? Mom asked the little girl, admiring the idea. Exactly, my love, the woman answered, smiling. Finally, it was their turn to get on the plane. The plane was greeted by a friendly stewardess and they settled into their seats. Kelly, ecstatic with the experience, looked out the window and watched the movement of the airport while the plane prepared to go. We're almost flying, mom, exclaimed, grabbing her daughter's hand. Yes, daughter, we will soon be on the plane. The heights towards Disney, said the woman. Affectionately squeezing the little girl's hand, the pilot made an announcement over the sound system, informing the passengers about the flight time and weather conditions. Kelly tried to understand everything that was said while Joyce helped her. Let's fasten your seatbelt. Ready, my love, now? We are safe and ready to fly, stated the mother, adjusting her own seatbelt. The plane began to move slowly along the runway and Kelly observed every detail, delighted with the size and power of the aircraft. Anxiety and curiosity took over and she kept asking why the plane could fly too. Dear, it's because the wings and the engines made the plane move fast enough for it to take off, the woman explained. Simply, as soon as the plane accelerated and began to ascend, the little girl felt a tickle in her stomach and laughed. 
as she looked down, watching the houses and buildings become smaller and smaller. The mother held her hand, sharing her daughter's excitement and joy when the plane accelerated. The plane reached cruising altitude. The lights turned on and the passengers began to settle in for the trip. Joyce took out some papers and colored pencils to entertain her, and during the flight, the girl, still amazed by everything, drew a plane and wrote in colored letters. The stewardess passed by serving snacks and drinks, and a little girl chose an orange juice and a package of cookies. The proud mother of her little girl, and excited about the adventure, that awaited them smiled when she thought of all the memories they would create together during those vacations they were both excited because this would be kelly's first trip to disney joyce had been saving money for a long time to provide this unique experience for her daughter she knew that the trip would be a time of joy and renewal for both of them especially after the difficult period they had recently gone through kelly's parents separation had been difficult for everyone especially for the girl who missed her father's constant presence in her life the young and brave mother for her part had gone through a period of adaptation and struggle to balance work and raising her daughter and managing her own emotions. I know things have been difficult for us lately, but this trip will be a chance to have fun and leave our worries behind. It's okay, she said, trying to comfort her daughter. I know, mom, I miss dad, but I'm happy. We're going to Disney. I want to see, the girl responded. In recent months, Joyce had tried her best to keep Kelly's routine as normal as possible. She was striving to spend more quality time with her daughter by creating special and fun moments to compensate for the absence of the child's father. She also made an effort to maintain a friendly relationship with her ex-husband so that the little girl could continue to have a healthy relationship with her father. However, disagreements between them were still frequent and the girl being sensitive ended up noticing it and suffering for it. I promise that when we return from this trip, we will continue working to improve our life and our relationship with your dad. It's fine, honey, Joyce said, hugging her daughter. I know, mom. I love you so much, Kelly said returning the hug. The trip to Disney was a way for Joyce to show her love and dedication. I wanted the girl to have an unforgettable moment, something to help her forget the difficulties and feel loved and protected when we are at Disney. I want you to enjoy every moment, take lots of photos and have a lot of fun. I agree that we are going to create incredible memories together. Cheer up, Joyce. I'm sure mom will be the best trip of my life. The little girl responded with a smile on her face. However, they could hardly imagine that their lives would be in danger in a matter of hours. The flight to Orlando would last approximately eight hours and everything there seemed fine. The two were comfortably seated in their seats, enjoying the flight and eager to reach their long dreamed destination. However, after about four hours of flight, a storm formed on the horizon and the plane began to face turbulence in communication with the control tower was compromised due to the extreme weather conditions and the pilot had to make a quick decision 
to ensure the safety of the passengers. Mom, I'm afraid, said the little girl, squeezing her mother's hand. Don't worry, dear. Everything will be fine. It's normal to have turbulence, okay? She tried to calm her down. Although she felt her own heart tight and beating fast. In order to get out of the storm and re-establish communication with the tower, the pilot decided to increase the plane's altitude. However, what he did not expect was for lightning to hit the aircraft. At the moment, the impact was so strong that all the plane system were affected. The lights went out and a terrifying silent took over the cabin. The oxygen mask fell and the plane began to shake violently. The passengers screamed while the flight attendant tried to calm them down and make sure everyone put their mask on correctly. The passengers screamed while the flight attendants tried to calm them down and make sure everyone put their mask on correctly. We are going to die. We are going to die. The terrified people shouted, gentlemen, please calm down. Stay seated and put on your mask immediately. A flight attendant ordered. This only made the little girl even more afraid. Take a deep breath, daughter. Let's go. Put on the oxygen mask and everything will be fine, said Joyce, putting the mask on the little girl and herself. The next few minutes were one of terror and desperation with no communication with the control tower and with the plane systems damaged the pilot and the cabin crew fighting to regain control of the aircraft and avoid an imminent crash. Gentlemen, passengers here the commander we are facing technical problems and we ask that you remain calm and follow the instructions of the cabin crew through the emergency sound system trying to keep your voice steady flight attendants ran down the aisle helping passengers and directing them to remain seated and fasten their seat belts Passengers cried and prayed, hugging each other in search of comfort. My God, this plane is going to fall. It is going to fall. A desperate woman shouted, let's go, let's die, let's die, shouted another person who was holding on to her mother, trying to hold back her tears and understand what was happening. Joyce, for her part, did everything possible to stay calm and protect her daughter although she knew that the situation was critical and then she did it the worst thing happened the plane began to lose altitude rapidly and panic took over on board the pilot announced that he was doing everything possible to regain control and asked everyone to prepare for the worst I love you, Kelly. No matter what happens, we will be together, the mother said, hugging the girl with all her strength. I love you, mom, the little girl responded, sobbing. The co-pilot was trying to reestablish communication with the control tower, while the pilot concentrated on keeping the aircraft as stable as possible. We are losing altitude and we're not able to regain altitude control, the co-pilot shouted with a trembling voice. Meanwhile, the flight attendants already seated in their seats continued talking loudly to calm the passengers, some of whom were already panicking, screams, cries, and pleads to God, filling the cabin, increasing the tension even more and the despair. Despite the chaos, the cabin crew maintained its professionalism, trying to convey some security to the passengers. Joyce
closed her eyes and hugged him, hugged her tightly, praying that somehow they could get out of that situation. The tension, the fear, and the despair was palp palpable, and everyone on board was facing what seemed to be the end. We still have time. We need to do something now, the pilot exclaimed. In a cold sweat, I'm going to pull the rudder, and after firmly holding the direction of the plane, as a last resort effort, the pilots managed to stabilize it in the air. For a while, they looked relieved, but they still had to discover what was happening with the plane's system that was not working again. We managed to stabilize the aircraft, but we still need help. Keep trying to communicate with the tower, the pilot said to the co-pilot, as fear was reflected in his face, her face, and the poor passengers, all of them in a state of shock and disbelief, were terrified. The prayers, the hugs, and con consolers' words continued as they tried to deal with the terrifying experience they were experiencing. The pilot maintained the plane's altitude with difficulty, aware that if not, they managed to completely restore the plane's electrical system, they would fail for sure or fall for sure. I was talking to the co-pilot, trying to find a solution for the desperate situation. If we don't recover the systems, we won't be able to maintain the altitude for long. We have to find a solution, the pilot said, worriedly, while they were discussing the problem. Light began to flash on the cockpit screen, indicating a possible problem in the electrical system connection cables. The co-pilot who had technical knowledge on the subject suggested that if we could reconnect the cables in the maintenance compartment, perhaps we could regain control of the airplane. The pilot agreed, but knew that this compartment was only accessible for external maintenance. However, he remembered that there was a small opening in the side the plane through which someone very small could pass. It is an impossible task for us as adults, but maybe a child, a little one could do it. Okay, asked the flight attendant and open here in the conversation, she decided to act quickly, ran towards the passengers and shouted asking, if there were any small children on board and explain more or less the situation. She decided to act quickly, run and ask if there were any small children. But at that moment, Joyce raised her hand, pointing to her daughter, Kelly. My daughter is little, maybe I can help. The stewardess approached them both explaining that the little girl was the only hope they had and that they needed me to reconnect some cables in the maintenance compartment to regain control of the plane. I know it's scary, little one, but you are our only chance. Are you brave enough to try? The flight attendant asked. Looking into the girl's eyes, Kelly hesitated for a moment, but her mother encouraged her. You are the bravest person I know. My daughter, I believe in you. The girl's eyes filled with tears, but still she felt great determination and understood the importance of her mission. The stewardess took her to the small opening inside the plane that gave access to the maintenance compartment. The electrical system connection cables needed to be reconnected in a specific sequence. 
that the co-pilot would explain to her on the radio. We are sure you will make it, Kelly. We are all supporting you, said the stewardess, as the girl prepared to enter the compartment. Joyce hugged her tightly before letting her go, promising that she would be waiting for her when she returned. Kelly wiped her tears and took a breath, knowing that she could not disappoint her mother and all the other passengers who trusted her. With a determined look, the little girl entered the narrow compartment. Despite the fear and responsibility, she felt the darkness was oppressive and the confined space made it difficult to breathe without. However, with the help of a small flashlight provided by the stewardess, she began to crawl through the narrow space in the direction of the loose cables. Meanwhile, the passengers joined in prayers and words of encouragement for the girl, aware that everyone's life depended on her. A distraught Joyce anxiously awaited Kelly's return, clinging to the hope that her daughter would succeed in her mission. The moment the girl began her mission in the maintenance bay, the co-pilot began guiding her through the radio, speaking in a soft voice and encouraging trying to simplify the instructions so that she understood them clearly, very well clear. Now you need to find the little blue wire and plug it into the little blue hole. Okay, he guided her patiently. Okay, she responded with fear with her trembling hand. The little girl took the blue wire and placed it in the indicated place. The compartment was full of cables and equipment and Kelly felt scared and apprehensive about the complexity of the task. However, the girl took a deep breath and continued forward, seeking courage in the innocence and simplicity of her childhood. Passengers, the stewardess, and Kelly's mother waited anxiously outside the compartment encouraging the little girl with a tight heart, murmuring words of encouragement and praying for her daughter. The co-pilot continued instructing her, speaking in a loving and understanding manner. Now, the brave little girl must connect the little red cable in the little red hole. Kelly responded, doing as the pilot had instructed her. Despite the fear and tension, the girl was determined to save everyone on board while she worked. The silence in the cabin was only broken by the pilot's instructions. Kelly and the whispers of the passengers, Now, little one, you must connect the yellow cable into the yellow hole. Little yellow hole, you are doing a magnificent job, said the mom. And mind the girls bravery. Time seemed to pass slowly and the tension increased every second. However, the little girl managed to connect all the cables one by one in the correct order. Finally, it was time to connect the last green cable. All eyes were fixed on the cabin and the silence was deafening. You are almost there. There now, put the green cable in the little green hole and everything will be fine, he said. The co-pilot, with his voice, conveying the hope that everyone shared. Kelly, with sweaty little hands and a strong heart, connected the last cable. The moment she did so, the, ca the cabin lights come on. All the plane system started working again. A sigh of relief, overwhelming relief and joy took over everyone on board. The passengers, the stewardess, pilots, and especially
especially Joyce, who cried with excitement without stopping, shouted with happiness as the little girl came out of the compartment. Daughter, you were brilliant. My love, you were brilliant, the mother spoke, hugging the little heroine. You did it, Kelly. You saved everyone, said the stewardess with tears in her eyes. Kelly, still scared, feeling incredibly brave, smiled at her mother and the other passengers who were now applauding and celebrating the girl's success. The pilots, with emotional voices, thanked the little girl through the radio. Thank you very much, brave little girl. Thanks to you, we are all safe. You are our hero. The little girl, flooded with happiness and relief, felt the weight of responsibility lift from her shoulders. She had faced her fear and with courage and determination had saved the lives of everyone on board. And so the trip continued without any further problems. When the plane finally landed, everyone at the airport already knew the incredible story of the, of the bravery of the little girl, thanks to the control tower that shared the heroic act. The passengers and airport staff applauded Kelly, who was smiling from ear to ear as a reward for their bravery. The airline gave Kelly and her mother free airline tickets for a year. The duo headed to their long-awaited trip to Disney, where they created unforgettable memories and had fun like never before. In the end, the story of bravery and determination of a little girl should be an inspiring reminder that even the smallest among us can do great things. From that moment on, the girl would be remembered as the one who, despite fear and danger, achieved the impossible and became a true heroine. Thank you for listening to the end. And if you like this story, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. Activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our next exciting videos.